G'day mate and welcome to Factorio with me JD. The mod I'm actually going to look at this week is called Or Compress. Now it's like the child mod of an earlier mod I looked at which was Or Compress. Um, actually did a mod highlight on that probably about a year ago now. Um, and it's, it's a fairly simple mod. It lets you compress standard ore into a compressed brick of ore. And the mod creator actually had a separate mod that let you do the same with iron and copper and steel plates and everything else. It, it let you take plates and compress them into a stack of compressed plates. Um, it's something the, the, the general community has asked for for a long time to increase the throughput of belts, etc. And this mod creator had two separate mods doing two separate things and has combined them in a single one. So look, I thought, let's go have a look at this mod. Let's go and, and, and actually do a proper highlight on the, on, on the whole mod that covers both of them. Now, um, it does have a couple of configuration options and we'll go through those really quickly it has the crafting time the number of items to comp that you are needed to make a compressed brick um, or a compressed stack of plates or, or, or a compressed brick of ore um, the smelting multiplier so you do have a loss if you choose to smelt compressed brick or compressed plate the stack size of compressed items and you can enable or disable different ones now one of the reasons the mod creator did this, um, according to the the info page, is it looks like you can, you can now simply add more and more different types of ores and plates in his mod. So next time you're looking at your Bob's Angels playthrough, maybe you want to look at this particular mod, you know, to compress all the crap that you've got left over. Anyway, in saying that, um, in the base game, it lets you do iron plate, obviously, along with coal, stone, copper, and uranium. It does come with a catch. Anytime you compress something, if you then smelt that or um, burn it, in the case of the burnables, you do have a loss. So we've got a fuel megajoule, a uh, fuel value of four megajoules for a single piece of coal. If it's in a stacked, uh, if it's in a, in a stack size of twenty, that means that um, a brick, what I keep calling a brick. Um, big compressed stack should have a fuel value of 80. It's actually got a fuel value of 64 megajoules because of that loss that's automatically built in um, with that um, smelting multiplier. Now, you know, you could change that to 1.2 probably and, 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 and go nuts with it and have a increase, um, but that's up to you. It does offer a couple of advantages. So if we go to here, we can see normal iron plate takes 3.2 seconds for one iron ore. This is a compressed iron ore that gives you back 16 plate, but takes 32.7 seconds. So it's actually slightly faster. So I've got two smelters set up, um, one taking in just iron ore and the other one taking in the compressed brick version. And you'll see that the brick version only needs to be this long to have a half yellow belt worth of output. Um, so it is a saving in a larger and larger mega base sort of style that you could have more miners down, compress the ore, um, run it through, and then actually smelt the compressed ore um, before running it back out and, and potentially compressing it again before you turn it into iron. It's one of the reasons we've used the mod in the past. In saying that, the past mods actually let you use prod, uh, prod mods this doesn't and i'm actually going to demonstrate that in a second but you can see that you know these where's one of these poor inserters these poor inserters are holding three in their hand plus 13 actually in the smelter so they're actually outputting 16 per one um firing of the smelter which is a significant amount of plates coming out of, of these little smelters um and i'm doing the exact, the exact same thing here i'm taking in when the inserter flips fast enough Taking in 20 plate and outputting one compressed plate. And then this poor smelter here is taking in 20 compressed iron, uh, or a stack of compressed uh, iron, and going to output steel. Uh, again, 49.1 seconds compared to uh, 16 seconds. Um, but there is going to be that loss in there. Don't forget, you are going to have a certain amount of loss running it through um, well, you're going to have a 20% loss. As for productivity modules, I can put that in there. And, oh, I don't have enough of them. Let's just stand here and just suck up some of those. Thank you. 
uh, run that through and when it finishes the process um, we'll see that well actually you can see it right now you don't have the yellow productivity bar so because we're missing that productivity bar unfortunately you do not get any sort of um, productivity from putting prod mods in the actual furnaces so it's something you need to keep in mind that there is no way around that that particular loss it was something I liked from the original version that you the normal 20% bonus that you would get from using prod mods you now sacrifice for a faster UPS but the other thing that you've got to really think about is um, the compressed or stacks in a stack size of 100 um, so it's 100 bits of compressed ore, which then multiplies out to 2,000 iron ore, which is a whole cargo wagon's worth of iron ore in a single train. Which, when you start thinking in those sorts of terms, that means a single 1-1 one, one train can start moving an insane amount of ore. Even if you want to decompress it, which is perfectly acceptable... Um, you can have a very, very large iron outpost that's you know, mining into a single train to then drive across your map to then unload into a lot and a lot of ore at the other end. Anyway, that is this mod. Mod link is, in, mod link is in the description as always. If you've got any suggestions for any other mods you'd like to see uh, me do a highlight of, by all means, leave uh, links and comments down in the description below, uh, down in the comment section below. Um... I highly recommend this mod. We're, we're using it on a lot of our community maps um, just to simplify the train network and moving large amounts of resources around the map quickly and easily. Um, the mod creator does sort of indicate that it makes it easier for bots to carry around ore, but to me, that's a common no-no practice. You just don't do it. Um, bots are not designed to carry around ore ever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. As always, do hope you like this little mod highlight. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, bye.